My name is Renee Levanji, and I made a video for you about a school that I would like to help out. So here I drew a rough map of Africa, and I'm living in the country of Ghana for one year, in the town of Kijibi. Now very close to my house is Maranatha School, and it's very different from the schools in Canada. So I'm going to show you the classroom, the students, and a little bit of Kijibi town. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Lots of babies go to the school. There are 100 students who are 1 to 4 years old, but the only thing they have to play with is a box of teddy bears. They sing lots of songs, but there are no blocks or puzzles. In Ghana, kindergarten two is the same as primary. They don't have any crayons, coloring books, or glue and scissors. So this is the school here across the road. This is KGB town. And this is class one, so the same as grade one. Thank you. How are you? I am good. Thank you. So what class is this? This is class one. And what are you learning? Tell me something you are learning in class. Can you tell me? Yes. Very good. You can see that none of the students have books on their desks, and there are no supplies for art class or science experiments. Only the five core subjects are taught. So these are the books for class one. We have math, natural science, English, religion and moral education, and creative arts. Why, why don't they have books? They don't have money to buy. And who, who's supposed to buy them? It is the parents who are supposed to buy, but they are not, they are not being buy. Mm -hmm. So the only books you have are the teacher's books? Yes. Class 2 in Ghana is the same as grade 2 in Canada, but students in the same class are all different ages. Why is she at school? 8 years old? Beer caps and six. If you're not listening or behaving, the punishment is not just standing in the corner. Let's go to see kids. Teaching while talking. Four kids. And what is the cane? Here's the cane. Dirty. Five. When you keep your drink dirty, we give you five kids. <laughs> Looking outside. Wait. Look outside. Three. Not doing homework. Four. Not speaking English. Two. <laughs> the school doesn't have any computers and there are no maps for me to show them where Canada is. What do you know about Canada? Do you know Canada? Do you know Canada? Canada. Canada. Have you heard it before? You heard it? Yeah, you have heard it. You don't know there. Yeah. <laughs> There's no soccer field at the school, not even a swing set or jungle gym.
just on the table here. Here. Coco. Coco. And Milo. Yeah, Milo. So Milo is like is like hot chocolate for the students in Canada. So why is it outside? Why is it in the sun? We want it to dry. This is the cocoa pot. And do you have the the trees yes. back there? Yes, we have the trees. Uh -huh. So do you like chocolates? Yes. <laughs> Their bathroom is just an outhouse behind the school, so there's no sink or running water. And where where do you wash your hands? In the house. In the house. What, what do you use to wash your hands? Salt and water. You can't choose what you eat for lunch. There's no cafeteria serving pizza or hot dogs. So this is like the school's kitchen or the cooking area? Yes. So what is cooking right now? Uh, right now it's palm nuts. Palm nuts. <laughs> this is palm nuts. Palm nuts. For soup? Yes, palm nuts for soup. Okay. And what are the students <coughs> having for lunch today? Today they're having beans and garlic. Great big family 